Oh, didn't see you there. Good morning, Coyotes. And welcome to another fantabulous CMS TV. On next week's show, Spring Break Edition, we have an in-studio guest, Science with Sean, and much, 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 much more. I'm Bryce. I'm Lydia. And CMS TV starts now. And I'll spend my life. Don't forget, spring break is next week, so there's no school. For those of you who use social media, you might recognize our in-studio guest. Let's send it over to Maddie. Hey Coyotes, I'm Maddie Ward, and I'm here with Josh Darnett and David Lopez. So I have a few questions for them. So when did you guys first start making vines? Um, it's been like, when did Vine come out? Three years ago? It was January 24th. I think it was 2013. February, February 7th. 2014 at about 3.41 p.m. It's my first bike. Awesome. Okay. It was way before that. Okay, 2.41 p.m. I started on day one, uh, yeah. the first day of August. But I wasn't popular. Than no, I was not. So what is your favorite part of being buyers? It's, it's just fun, to make, like being creative. Just trying to be funny and stuff. It's, it's, um, it's fun to be able to kind of do what you want with your days and just you have to make sure that you're creating something at some point. Otherwise, you know, you're just a lazy guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What opportunities have being a Viner created for you? Um, well, I guess one of the cool opportunities I had was I actually auditioned for a Marvel movie once. I didn't get it, obviously, but it was cool auditioning for a movie. And then now I'm in talks with Saturday Night Live. That's actually pretty cool, too and I get to meet Josh Dornay. Um, so I guess one of the coolest things I've gotten to do was um, we got to do some promo work for Disney World and they were opening a new roller coaster and we got to be one of the first people that rode it. It was a blast. So once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. So what advice do you have for someone who wants to start making vines? Be funny. That's it. Just be funny? Just be funny. Or you can be good looking like Cameron Dallas. That's hard to achieve. I never achieved that level of good looking as original. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome so much. Well, that's it for this time, Coyotes. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Maddie. I love their videos. Hopefully you're wearing your PJs today. If you are, make sure to go get your free lemonade at lunch. Next up, we have Science with Sean. Let's go. That's all I have for you this week. See you next week. Bye. Ew! That was gross. Sad to say, our show has come to an end. <laughs> April Fools! 
We got you. If any of you miss a students versus teachers basketball game, Sydney went to go give us a scoop. Hey Coyotes, Sydney here. For those of you who don't know, Calavera had their annual students versus teachers basketball game. This year we had an amazing turnout for both teams. Let's check it out. The students eat the teachers. <laughs> students. <laughs> students won. You know, win, that's such a debatable term. What do you mean by win? Like who got, no one got fewer points than the teachers did. So in that sense, I think we won the game. We're not looking good for the teachers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was fair. The teams were even. It was a good competition between the students and teachers. Yes, yeah, so I think the game was fair, but there's always a winner at the end of the day. I think it was fair, although I don't know rules of basketball too well, but I don't think that people are supposed to be like on the ground and dragged across <laughs> the floor. It was, it, the skill levels were definitely different. Um, but yeah, I think it was absolutely fair. That's what I was really proud of the guys with. They're, they have high skill level, but they're also a good sportsman, and that's what made it fun. My favorite part of the game was coming out and playing a competitive game against the teachers. No, what I enjoyed most was, uh, I love seeing students do well in my classroom, but it's so cool to see people's talents outside of the classroom. And it was really fun to see uh, those people shine and do what they do best. They're a really talented group of guys. My favorite part is when I scored a three-pointer and I have another one too is when Keyshawn blocked Mrs. Tilly. That was a good point. A highlight of the game was when Mr. Ecker got completely packed by Edward Gardner. That was a highlight. <laughs> Sports Center worthy. <laughs> The best highlight of the game is when Kiave broke in the middle of two people and then scored a up and under layup. My uh, favorite part was just getting out there and playing with the kids. I think it's, it's great. We have a lot of talented basketball players on campus and, and I'm blown away. That's really well, well done. I'm Sydney reporting for CMS TV. Now back to the anchors. Wow, that was a lot. Good job, students. Watching all this exercise is making me hungry. Good thing Griffin went to Board and Brew. Now to Board and Brew to ask us a couple questions about their business. Board and Brew is located in downtown Carlsbad. They serve sandwiches and over the years have served a large variety of foods. It was founded in uh, it's been uh, the same owner, uh, Tom Powers, and yeah, just same owner, just he's a company the family, has been running it since probably mid-80s, mid-80s, his mom owned it before him, and then he took over, and it was really small. I mean, the place down in Del Mar is fairly big, but um, as far as like the menu, it's grown. We haven't ventured out outside of like sandwiches and such. Alright, and what's your favorite sandwich that you ordered? There's a couple. I like Baja beef, which is marinated really steak, grilled eggs, jalapenos, melted jack cheese on French baguette, and it comes with mayonnaise. That's probably my favorite. Right now we are currently uh, going on, well right now we have a total of, uh, I can name them out for you. So we got Anaheim Hills, which is up in LA. Uh, Anaheim Hills, we have Laguna Niguel, which is in part of Orange County. We have San Clemente, Branch of Santa Margarita. And then coming down, to, down, down to the south, we're up next, which would be Coastal Carlsbad. And we have Inland Carlsbad, Western Ranch. And the original uh, Border Brew, which is in Del Mar. Well, there you have it, Coyotes. If you want great quality food, don't forget to visit Borden Brew for a bite to eat. Back to you in the studio. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'll make sure to check it out. 
For those of you who forgot, today is April Fool's Day. Hope you didn't get pranked. Speaking of April Fool's Day, Ben found out some fun facts about this holiday. Take it away. The earliest reference to April Fools was in Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse, published in 1843. April Fools was started in Japan by a sensei named Yu Fool. Since the 40s, Burger King has given anyone born on April Fools a free burger. The U.S. actually won their independence on April 1st. On April 1st, 1992, Earth temporarily lost gravity. Santa Claus is Coming to Town was originally an April Fool's song. In some countries, men wear high heels to celebrate April Fools. April Fools is not an official holiday in over 55 states. The official mascot for April Fools Day is Christopher Columbus because he discovered Zimbabwe on April 1st. Number 10. All the previous facts were fake. Happy April Fools Day from the folks at Broadcasting. This is Ben Stapleton, now back to the anchors. I didn't know that before. Now we have a very special announcement. Drum roll, please. The next school dance will be on April 15th, and it's called Bright Lights, Big City, A New York Dance. To end off the show, we have another Name That Song, Best of 2000s Edition, Part 2. Hey Coyotes, it's Belle Flanagan with another Name That Song, Hits of the 2000s. Hope you can name that song. If you guessed Umbrella by Rihanna, you are correct. You guessed Hey Ya by Outcast, you are right. If you guess Say My Name by Destiny's Child, you are correct. If you thought that song was Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake, you are correct. thought that song was Single Ladies by Beyonce, you are right. But it doesn't mean that I'm serious. Us two lose all my senses. That is just something to me. Oh, baby, baby. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in the game. Oh, baby. If you guessed
best Oops, I Did It Again by Britney Spears, You're Right. Thanks for tuning in, Coyotes. This is Bill Flanagan reporting for CMS TV. Now back to the anchors. Those are my jams. Reminds me of my childhood. We're sad to say. For real this time. At CMS TV has come to an end. I know. Hope you guys have a fun spring break. Bye. Bye.